Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel, A Country Life. I'm Jennifer. Today, I'm going to share with you guys a day in the life. We are back from Washington, D.C. Joseph and Peter and myself went to Washington, D.C. on a homeschool field trip, and it was phenomenal. We did a tour called Stories and Stones, it's a look at the Christian beginnings of our country. We are back. It is Halloween. Happy Halloween to all of you out there. We're just getting started with our day here. It's all, also our library day, so shortly we'll be heading off to the library. All right, everybody, heading into the post office here. If you have been waiting on a shipment, it is coming. <laughs> Finally getting my shipments out. All right, well, I'm just back from the P.O. box. Um, I dropped off all of my shipments and I had a little ticket saying I had a package. So here, look at that, isn't that cute? Maria is gonna love that little card. Anyway, this is from Karen. So thank you so much, the Ultimate Instant Pot Cookbook. And if you can believe it, I just opened it up and I absolutely love Brussels sprouts. And it seems like all the recipes that I find use lemon and bacon. And I have just not been a big fan of lemon with my Brussels sprouts. And look at here, sweet chili Brussels sprouts, soy sauce and toasted sesame oil and sriracha and some honey or maple syrup and rice vinegar and onions no, shallots and garlic and Brussels sprouts. This sounds amazing. <laughs> so I look forward to trying that. I'll probably have to cut this recipe in half just because I'm pretty much the only one that likes Brussels sprouts. And I think a pound of Brussels sprouts is enough because, you know, those cruciferous vegetables, although they're so good for you, anti-cancer and all the things, they kind of cause a number on the stomach sometimes in the intestines. All right, so let's just open this up randomly. Oh, not a picture. Let's open it up to a picture. Salmon, okay. Salmon with tarragon aioli. Ooh, that would be good too. Sweet potatoes stuffed with black beans and quinoa. Mm, not sure if any of us would really be into that one. Is this a soup? Pork chili verde, that would be good. I even have salsa verde in the um, on my canning shelves. All right, so thank you so much. This is gonna be fun to look through. And there's even a card for Joseph and Peter and Maria, so they are gonna be tickled. Thanks a lot. Uh, we, it is very, very kind when you guys think about us. Surely not necessary, <laughs> but it is very kind. Off to the library now. Well, we are home here. We already had lunch. We just had some leftovers we made. Um, last night, Warren made the chicken that's in cookbook number one. It's the Seasons chicken wings, something like that. We didn't actually use the Good Seasons packet because we didn't have that, uh, but we did use some ranch. Uh, we had an open ranch packet that we sprinkle on one pan of chicken, and on the other pan of chicken, he just used seasoned salt and pepper. Anyway, we had a little bit of leftovers, so we had that for lunch. And now I just want to show you my Dollar General um, kind of, this would be my household haul for this month. Obviously, the less people that are at home, the less and less things that we need. Uh, but we were, my big bin of toilet paper was just basically completely empty. And this is the toilet paper I use in our first bathroom. So I got four big packages of that. I got two of the packages of toilet paper for our, what we always call bathroom number number two. <laughs> and then some paper plates tied into those already for lunch. And this time, last time, the it was the actual Dixie brand were a lot cheaper. So I got those. This time the True Living brand was the better price. So I picked those up. They both, I mean, they seem like, like the same strength as the Dixie plates. Some more Tide. Uh, I've been getting this the last couple of months, the Hygienic Clean, and I do really like that. I do have three Halloween treat bags that I want to put together. So I got the little cheddar and sour cream potato chips, a little juice box, orange juice, and then one of these little cheese and pretzels for each of the little treat bags. I did pick up some Thanksgiving plates. As soon as I see these out uh, at Dollar General, I get them as soon as possible. So I got two packages of the large platter style plates. These work really great for adults because you know, <laughs> you need turkey and mashed potatoes with gravy and squash and maybe green bean casserole and cranberry sauce 
and a dinner roll and some coleslaw and <laughs> you need you need a plate that can fit all of that and then I picked up one of like the coordinating plates the smaller ones for the kids who don't need quite as big of a plate they didn't have any you know what I should have done is just got more of this size for uh, dessert plates but I did it but they had more I could go back and get some more and then I did get these napkins these weren't I don't think so. these are quite the napkins that coordinate with these plates, but this is what they had, so I got those, and we're going to call it good. I also picked up some more of the Puffs Plus with lotion, and I think I mentioned this in the last uh, haul. If you hear like a sound, that's actually the food dehydrator going. Peter is making duck jerky here. And he's also washing dishes. So there's always some kind of noise in this house. I, forever, years, years and years, 15 years, maybe more than 15, 20 years, I bought Kleenex is, or the tissues, the facial tissues from Aldi. But they have, I think, changed them. And even though they say with lotion, they don't feel like they have the lotion in them anymore. And so I have been back to getting puffs here now for probably a year here or so. And then also some of these 39 gallon bags. These work really great for the really big garbage cans out in the garage for recycling and for just, just garage trash. <laughs> so picked up a big box of those and then another jug of Dawn. And then this was really the only sort of like health and beauty item that we needed this month was uh, some dry shampoo. And this was this brand I've never used We'll see, it was only $5, and yeah, the Batiste was $9 for a much smaller can. I think it was just a four, like a little over a four ounce can or something like that, and that was nine, and this was just a little bit over five, I think. So we'll give it a try, see how that works. I feel like I must have gotten something else, but this was like $103, you guys. <laughs> but... I mean, this is like almost 10 bucks. This is seven something. This is five. I don't remember how much these were. These are a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, three and three. These were 50 cents a piece. This was a couple bucks, I think. This was probably a couple bucks. This was almost 20. These, I, these are five, 10, 15, 20 dollars a piece. This was like seven or eight dollars, and these were, oh boy, probably eight bucks or something like that. So I guess that all adds up probably to 103. All right, well, it's trick or treat day, so Joe, show us your costume. Talk to us. Well, I thought you'd talk in your pirate voice you've been doing all day. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. You don't know how to say it now? You've been pirate voicing us all day uh, long. Uh, where Sam is. I don't I know don't where know. Sam's at work, honey. I gotta find Sam. I he, get him. He's at work. No, I get him. Oh, I don't think you're gonna be able to get him. But this is cool. We actually stopped by like um, a little store, little kids resale shop, and I got the pirate no. costume for a dollar fifty. No, it's a giving. For Sam! For Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving? Please! And we've got Peter behind us. Nice. What are you going to wear for boots? Oh, it looks like tennis. Some tennis or something? No boots? Okay. Fire! <laughs> you shake your head though. Hops up and down. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, this is what happens when you're trying to find a Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the background. It's crazy in your room. So, tell us who you are. I am Josephina. An American girl from one of the American Girl books. Yes. Oh, it just got blurry for some reason. Just wait here. What's going on? I think it's focusing on the light behind you. Do you want me to turn it Okay, off? there we go. We got it now. So, I am Josephina, an American girl from one of the American Girl series books. Yes. So, she's got an Josephina or Josefina. Mm -hmm. She is from Mexico, correct? Mm-hmm. And so Mexico. Maria was patterning her outfit off of the front cover. Yes. Yes. It looks great. Thank you. Mommy. Okay, sir. Target. Fire. Target. Good morning. 
It is All Saints Day. We're home from Mass here. We actually weren't supposed to be coming home. We were supposed to be going to do a leaf raking service project with our homeschool co-op, and we got everything ready. We had our rakes, we had our extra clothes, our boots, our hats, our all the things. <laughs> we packed up early this morning, and then after Mass, I checked to see where the first the first address and they canceled it, <laughs> or I should say postponed it till next Wednesday because of the snow. We did get some snow, but I mean, everything is kind of melted now, but anyway, they had to cancel, I guess, early enough to make sure that everybody would know that it was canceled, right? So we're home and the kids are starving. So I'm gonna make some breakfast here. I'm just gonna make up some scrambled eggs and then I have some bagels I'm gonna toast up and after that, I was going to try to get some cookies made because we do have a, a All Saints party tonight at church. And so, and they always say to bring some sort of treat or whatever. So I was going to bring some cookies. Just something about a mid-morning breakfast like that that was so good all right I am working on these cookies now and I'm gonna make butter cookies this recipe is in cookbook 2 on page 63 so I'm just putting in the sugar and the shortening in the butter right now I'll add in egg flour baking soda cream of tartar and vanilla so simple but these are so delicious roll them in some sprinkles those are the sprinkles that I chose for today because it's what I have So we're home now and we are just getting ready here for supper. The boys are actually out hunting. Maria is rinsing some rice right now. She is learning to make rice and I'm just making some tacos. I'm using my Instant Pot. I have this on saute mode and I had in there a little bit of olive oil, some onion and some garlic. I'm just gonna cook the meat for about three minutes here. I just wanna break this up. It's a little bit frozen still and I need to get a clip to you can use just like, they make clips specifically for holding your Instant Pot in place, but you can just use like a, just any kind of clip because, or you can just use a pot holder and just hold it in place. But I'm going to put my camera down, I'm going to break this up a little bit more, and I'm going to add in the spices. I'm not using my homemade taco seasoning today just because I wanted to follow the recipe in this Instant Pot cookbook for ground beef tacos. So I'm just going to follow this, which I need to put in, hmm, I need to put in chili powder, cumin, and oregano, and salt, and a little beef, and, and a little beef broth. You okay over there? Yeah. So all of the ingredients are in here. I'm going to set this to sealing. And again, that went on really nice. Make sure that this is in the sealing position. And I need to do manual high pressure. So pressure cook. Uh, we'll go pressure level. High. And then back to pressure cook for 10 minutes. This is probably going to take about 10 minutes or so to come up to pressure. I'm going to let it cook or pressure cook for 10 minutes. I'll let this naturally um, depressurize for about 10 minutes and then I will vent it for the rest of that. And we'll just serve this up on taco shells. Maria, like I said, she was making the rice. I'm gonna get out salsa and some sour cream and sh shred up some cheese and that's gonna be it. Super easy supper tonight. So just a reminder, 
Uh, if you have a little down moment while you are making supper, go and get the meat out for the next day already. So let me show you what I pulled out. Kids did a fundraiser for our homeschool group. <clears throat> and so I pulled out some of these chickens. This is the family farms market. They sell these at like Quick Trip, IGA. I, I've seen them at some other grocery stores, just kind of all around. But anyway, these are so good. And if you can get them at a fundraiser, they're actually the best price um, rather than buying them straight from the grocery store. But still worth it. They're so good. So I just brought one up of each flavor. I like to do that because these are very rich. So usually about half is good for most of us. So that will be for tomorrow night's supper along with we had leftover macaroni and cheese from our harvest party. So I'm going to let that thaw overnight. And then I also brought up a big venison roast. I will cook this down in my, um, I think I'm going to do this in the Instant Pot on Saturday. That would be a good thing to do, like a shredded. Or I might, you know, I might make it Saturday, but serve it on Sunday. Because we have some friends coming over on Sunday, they're going to be doing stuff with deer stands, and I think that would be great when everybody comes in. We could have, I'll do venison roast sandwiches. Either, okay, I'm either going to do this recipe right here, which is just a roast, onion soup mix, a little bit of water, and can of cream of mushroom soup. You just cook this on low. You can put it in, um, you can put this in the oven at 325 for three hours. You can put this in your crock pot for eight to 10 hours. Usually 10 is really good. You can do it in the instant pot. I would go for at about 75 minutes in the instant pot. So uh, that's a really good way. Serve it over mashed potatoes, rice, noodles, or on buns works too. Otherwise, the other one that I might do, I think is in cookbook two. Let me just see here. Yes, the other one I might do is this here, the Italian beef sandwiches. And this has, it looks like a lot of ingredients, um, but it's just a really like rich, flavorful broth that it makes. And this, again, we serve on buns, really good, especially with a piece of like provolone cheese on top. Mm, delicious. And here is how tonight's supper is looking. How about you guys? Do you guys like to put a little extra taco toppings on top of your rice when you have I do. Uh, tacos? <laughs> I do too. I like a little extra. And if I had like guacamole, which that's very rare that I have that, but if I had that, I'd put that on top of the rice too. So look at how perfect those plates go with this supper tonight. Looks very festive. Oh, and there's Maria's plate. Show us, show us. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, well, being that it's All Saints Day, Kids at church have a chance to dress up as a saint of their choice. Yeah. And, and I am Kateri Takakwitha. Yes. Saint Kateri Takakwitha. Lily, right? Do they call her Lily of the Mohawks? Yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Just a good old fashioned day in the life. Well, it was really two days in the life and I wanted it to only be one, but I didn't really get to a whole lot of cooking yesterday. So I made sure that I did a little bit of cooking here today so that there was something of substance in the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.